Doug Thompson here. We're here in the shop and I want to talk a little bit about fixturing or work holding because a lot of times, as I've said on some other videos, I consider welding to be kind of the easy part. I'm kind of done with the project. Work holding, fixturing, holding things together sometimes is the more challenging part of a project. This is a very simple example. If I want to weld two pieces of tubing together, I have a level plane and I have two parts that are essentially planes. And by placing it like this, I can clamp and clamp and I'm ready to weld. That's an easy fixturing problem. But oftentimes you have a far more complicated problem. Let's assume that I have to weld some unusual shape to another unusual shape. And oftentimes you're doing this in artistic projects, maybe a tree branch that has curves and it's really hard to set it up on a table. So what I've done is I've created this little work holding fixture and you see them all over the place, but this was my approach to making a simple work holding fixture. It's essentially designed around the human body. We have a shoulder joint and an elbow joint and a wrist joint. The upper portion can rotate and this portion can rotate. So you have complete degrees of freedom so that you can just move into position, line everything up. And then normally what I'll do is also get one of my squares if I'm gonna TIG weld. Sometimes you can hold the part with your hand and MIG weld it, but oftentimes that's problematic. So what I like to do is set up the project, the weld, and I might have to do something like this to then be able to have the part in a stable condition and then have some type of stability for my hand so that I can do a little TIG weld. And again, this particular kind of arm holding fixture is very useful for TIG welding when you've got some type of a complicated part and it's just it's very difficult to fixture it, say off of a table. But anyways, this is composed of a heavy base and a little tower section I have a 3 8 16 bolt going through it with a little handle here. Same thing here for the rotational part. And then again, same thing here and here so that I have a great amount of flexibility. Obviously, if you're way, way out, you might have put a clamp on that. But most of the time, this is very sufficient. Kind of an elegant way to hold a part in a very stable way so that you can make a very precise weld. 